There will be no cowards in heaven. I heard that over and over this week. There will be no cowards in heaven. Doesn't mean we don't get scared every once in a while, but that's not the spirit he put in us. He doesn't allow us to be cowards. That's why, like I shared last week, when I heard about the inner city and I thought, oh, I'm scared. That didn't sit well with me. I'm not supposed to be scared. I'm supposed to be fearless before the Lord. He didn't give me that spirit. It didn't sit right with me. He, he says there in Revelation 21, man, it's great. He goes, the one who conquers, the, the, the one who, who overcomes. He says, I'll be his God. He'll be my son. See, the strong ones, the ones that conquer those fears, the ones that conquer, you know, their temptations, that conquer their doubts. He says, those are my children. But then the first thing he says in verse 8, he goes, but as for the cowardly, as for the cowardly, the ones who are scared, you, you're too scared to follow me? You're too scared to name my name? That Jesus says this. Jesus says, why are you, why are you scared of people? You're scared of people? He goes, why would you fear them? I believe it's Matthew 10. He says, he says, all they can do is kill you. He goes, I can kill you and then send your soul to hell. He goes, don't you think you should fear me more? There will be no cowards in heaven. He says, the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, the murderers, the sexually immoral, the sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Look, I was very sad about this morning until I started reading this passage. And then I thought, you know what? This is a little goodbye for a short period of time on the earth. And what this passage is talking about is something that is far sadder. Okay, but I think, man, even if there's one person in this room who, if you were to die today and you have never confessed Jesus, you've never really lived for him, then you are going to spend an eternity apart from God. And I just began dwelling on that because I can't imagine that. I can't imagine being apart from God forever and then in a place of torment, what this place calls, which is a, which is a lake that burns with fire and sulfur. That's not an immediate end. It's, it's this torment day and night forever and ever. It says where, where you'll want to die, but you're not allowed to. And, and so, so what am I going to be sad about? That I won't see some of you for, for a few years? Yes, it is sad. But the thought of any one of you. I, see, I don't want to look back on even this moment with regret. And go, man, you're all about saying goodbye and everything else. And there are people in that room that we're going to say goodbye to for eternity. It didn't, it didn't make sense to me. It made all the sense in the world to tell you, man, I don't want you to die that way. I don't, I, I can't bear the thought of it ending that way. Because you held on to something that you thought was more valuable than Jesus. You thought, well, because the way she looked or the way, you know, you guys just got along so well that suddenly that, that, that's more important than this? And this, this eternity with God? Or, or whether it was your money and your comforts and you just go, no, I don't want to just follow God. I, I, I got to keep this certain standard of living. I got to have this stuff. I want this. I want that. And you're not willing to let go. Well, whatever addiction it is, it's in your life. That God would give you, he promised he'll give you the power over those things. If you'll trust him. If you'll let go, but at some point in your life, you've got to believe that he is more valuable than all of that. That he's worth it. And he says, because, you know, it's, it's the liars, he says. The liars, they're, they're the ones that, that are in this room. Some of you are in this room where you've got us all fooled. Congratulations. You know, you seem like a Christian to us. You seem like you've surrendered your life, but you know when you go to bed at night that you haven't. And he says right there, here's your place. It's going to be in that lake of fire. I... There'll be no cowards in heaven. And that's why I refuse to be one. 